when it came into the workshop we were able to remove all the engine and all the accessories like the exhaust system and the fuel tank and now we replaced this with an, did all that yes we did all that yeah. and then we replaced this with an electric power train that um, consists of a battery pack a motor and a few control systems as well as onboard chargers to now charge the vehicle fantastic as you can see behind me there is an electric bus built in africa for africans that is super cool hello Hi. what's your name my name is Beatrice Wanjiru. Beatrice? Yes. Yeah. Beatrice, what's your position here in OPIBAS? So I am a research and development electrical engineer who works on the electric vehicles and their charging infrastructure. Fantastic. All right, so Beatrice, I would like you to tell me more about this electric bus. Yeah, so this is the first uh, electric bus made uh, by Kenyans for Kenyans. So initially, this was an internal combustion engine a sort of vehicle and then when it came into the workshop we were able to remove all the engine and all the accessories like the exhaust system and the fuel tank and now we replaced this with an, did all that yes we did all that yeah. and then we replaced this with an electric power train that um, consists of a battery pack a motor and a few control systems as well as onboard chargers to now charge the vehicle. Fantastic. Can we go in to check all this out? Yes, we can. Okay. So Beatrice, um, what is this? So this here is what we call the fueling station of an electric vehicle. So this is a charger. Um, this is what you use to connect to your vehicle. And also it's connected to the grid. Um, and then now you can use it to charge. To charge vehicle. the bus. Okay. So can you do that now? Yeah, we can do that. Let's go. So this is sort of the inlet where okay. you uh, plug in this uh, mm -hmm. charging plug. Yeah. And so you simply put it in your vehicle. Yes. And then you can start the charging the vehicle, the charging process from the vehicle. Do you have to switch anything on in the car? Yes. So we have a human machine interface, like a screen. Okay. Um, where you get to select, like, this is how much uh, energy I want to charge my vehicle with. So according to, of course, uh, how much you the battery pack demands, but how much money you have, yeah. that will... Okay, good. So can we go in to check it out? Yeah. Great. From this side? Okay, from the other side. Uh, <laughs> you know, I was going to this side because where I come from in Ghana, in Norway, <laughs> we, our cars are left-hand driver. <laughs> Come over. We are in the electric vehicle, electric bus. Okay. So, so. yeah. So once you have plugged in your charging uh, cable, yeah. uh, your screen comes on. Mm -hmm. So as you can see here, we need to select how much input power you want yeah. to charge our battery pack with so i'll just demonstrate um why would you have to ch um, choose or select the input power um it depends on how fast you want your charging process to to take place so if you want to do it faster then you choose uh higher power but if you want to do it uh, if you have more time you can choose to charge it very slowly both of these have uh, their pros and cons to so it. Does that mean if I choose high power, I would have to pay a much electricity bill? Yes, because you'll be drawing... Uh, it also depends on the period of the time you'll be charging this space. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. So Beatrice, where was the engine before you took it out? Um, so the engine was uh, right under where you're sitting. So that's in the middle of the chassis but towards the frontal area of the bus mm. so we had to take out the engine and what we replaced this with is we have an electric motor that is towards the center of there but we also have a battery pack so in this bus we have like four battery packs because this is like uh, the total energy capacity is 120 kilowatt hour so yeah. we have like 30 battery modules mm. and 180 battery 
uh, batteries in total. So in total. we have, uh, they are divided to now distribute the weight all over the vehicle. Yeah. So we have a battery pack with eight modules towards the left yeah. um, compartment. We have another battery pack with six yeah. modules towards the right and like um, 16 battery modules Modules. in the center of the chassis. Awesome. So how how long can this bus travel? Um, The the travel range? So when fully loaded, this bus can go up to um, 130 kilometers Mm -hmm. um, and that's on a single charge. Yeah. Okay. But the thing is, I can't even see a gear over here. Doesn't it have a gear? So yes, we have a gearbox that is now coupled to our motor and it's somewhere underneath. So it does have a gearbox. Okay, so is it like manual or automatic? Um, It is automatic. um, So depending on the top demand, speed demand, Mm. uh, it will shift logic to whatever the vehicle needs. So where can I change the gears if I have to? I mean, I know it's automatic, but where can I change it? Is it, is it here? Where can I find it? Oh, here? Um, no. Um, you can't change it. I can't change you it. You can't change it, yeah. Because oh, okay. an electric vehicle works almost like an um, automatic vehicle. Like, oh, okay. So I understand it. So you don't have to change it. You anything. don't change it. But when I want to go back in terms of reverse, what do I do? Um, when you want to go back in terms of reverse, we have here a... Uh, uh, we call it a DNR knob that's drive neutral and reverse. Okay, Simply operates like um, um, normal automatic vehicle. So if you want to reverse, you just change the to, knob to, uh, to the R. Oh, okay. The so R, R is reverse. R is okay. reverse, and then now you can reverse. Mm-hmm. Uh, press the accelerator, accelerator and go reverse. And then if you want, you can be on neutral, or if you want to go, go forward, forward, you can. So it's quite simple yeah. driving an electric. Guys, that is vehicle. awesome. Beatrice, what am I seeing here? It looks like some car battery. Are yes. these car batteries? So these are the type of uh, battery modules. So one of these has like one of these battery modules has like twelve batteries inside, and so oh, we actually have a total of thirty of this kind in our vehicle. So uh, here in front of you is a, we call it a test bench. So we're testing the first. Uh, type of charger it's it, it's called a DC fast charger so that one can top uh, up to like 80 percent of your battery pack in less than 30 minutes less than in less than 30, 30 minutes, minutes okay. yeah so it's faster and it's very convenient for public transport vehicles where they only they, um, they're always uh, driving around and so they just stop a bit to top up a bit and then continue with their trips okay. so how many of these battery modules would you need for uh, let's say a saloon car uh, if I have to convert my car into electric so these are quite big and we will int- uh, put this in the saloon car so but they're smaller ones depending on the energy demand so I'd give an example of the land cruisers that we have um, those are like 38 kilowatt hour system and that's like um, 36 battery modules but smaller size than this one smaller so size. for smaller spaces we recommend um, a few smaller batteries oh, okay. Awesome. okay and what is this so this is the DC fast charging station that I mentioned so this one is quite powerful it's 180 kilowatt yeah. so meaning uh, for a battery pack our battery pack, as I mentioned, is 120 kilowatt hours. Yeah. So, and this is 180 kilowatt. So, this uh, 120 divided by 180, that's less than, uh, this will charge the vehicle in less than an hour less than an to hour, full hour capacity. Hour. Yeah. So, this this quite looks like a fueling station. And so, yeah, it looks like you a just, station, yeah. if you want to charge your vehicle, you'll just come and take this uh, coupler and I think I can demonstrate you. Okay, that's fine. And just um, this will be on your vehicle, Very cool, yeah. so you just um, mate them like that, mm-hmm. and then the charging the process charging commence. Okay, so do you have some of this charging infrastructure installed in the city already? Um, we have not like this. This is a DC charger. DC, yeah. So this is actually the first here yeah. in Kenya, but we have the, the smaller oh. AC chargers like oh. the one I showed you yeah. before. Now that is found in some malls around Nairobi. But soon we'll be installing this uh, in public. public We are currently in talks with the the Nairobi uh, Metropolitan Services. Okay, okay, awesome. 
Thank you. All right, thank you very much, Beatrice. You're Yeah, the music. <laughs>